been listening to a lot of Caroline Rose and XXX Tentacion lately because I want to die. Vancouver sucks. I went skateboarding yesterday night and it was freaking so cold and all the roads here suck and everything about Vancouver sucks. I want to be back in California. I can't find my straight razor either, so I'm going to just shave with my electric one. So hopefully I won't look that homeless. And I gotta take a shower. My hair's all greasy and disgusting. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Gucci gang? Not as homeless looking anymore. I gotta find my razor. It's somewhere in my car. Okay, time to take a shower. Look at this hair. Should I get a haircut? Who cares? Ah, uh, much better. Now it's the now it's the now it's the hair part of the vlog. All right, I think it's time to get a haircut. Now it's the part of the vlog where I get my shoes, I go downstairs and see if anybody's stolen my scooter or not, or if it's still even there, or if I can even get it if it's where I think it is. So we will see what happens next. <coughs> wow, that echoed. Guys, this is my scooter. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's not my scooter. I actually don't know where my scooter is. I think it's supposed to be over here somewhere. Ah, yes, it is. Ah, uh, shit. Where, uh, oh, there it is. It's actually still here. Um, ah, uh, I need a key. A key. I have to find Milos now. Milos is our handyman? Okay, well, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> <coughs> okay, uh, how do I get him? Drop my cards on the ground, drop my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So, as some of you already know, or most of you, well, none of you actually, um, most of us live in the same building. As in Danish Vlad, Marco, me, Stefan, Kevin, Daniel. That's about it. I'm at Vlad's house. Danish is supposed to be here, but he's not. I got my scooter in there. Marco came to the rescue, guys. Look. See, I'm vlogging like everything now. Oh, not again. And I just explained that we all live in the same building. Big facts. Yeah, so some fun stuff is gonna come Ooh. from this. Oh, first try! Shit. Oh boy. Shit, so this is the scooter. It's um a Japanese import, actually. <laughs> it's a teriyaki scooter. Yeah. It's actually rare AF. This thing's sick. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna get it out of here. Just had to run home and get the key because that needs to be in for the wheel to turn. Um, so, the reason I bought this scooter is because in Japan, the culture behind it is the Bozozoku, which if you don't know, is kind of like their streetcar gang. It originated as like gangs. And uh, then it evolved to like the race cars that big aerodynamics and stuff. I've covered it in like other blogs. Um, but yeah, now they drive these scooters as well as motorcycles. But these scooters have like a big cult following behind them. They have body kits for them and stuff, which I do have from Japan. I bought a body kit too. Um, and I painted it. The paint didn't turn out how I wanted it, as you'll see in like just a second. But for right now, it's like fine. I'm gonna probably put the body kit on today if I get a new battery and all that stuff. Uh, I also lost the papers to insure it. So getting it legally insured here is maybe gonna be a mess. So I'm probably just going to drive it illegally from right now until whenever. Uh, but yeah, scooter's very cool. I'll put up some pictures and stuff of other scooters that people have done in Japan. They look a lot better than mine, but mine is just mine. So yeah, I just went on Instagram. That's the hashtag. Um, yeah, that's a nice one. I just uh, scrolled through like the hashtag for this scooter in Japan. Um, as you can see... They do them, like, out to the nines there. Like, they look so good. And, uh, they take a lot of time with their body work and their paint and... Oh, that one's so nice. Um, I got impatient, however. And I didn't feel like taking a million hours to finish mine because I just wanted to find it. He was wearing... That's, like, kind of... If you saw his jacket, he was wearing it. They all cruise together and they wear stuff like that. Ooh, I have the same drift charm as that on my car. Um... Let's see what the next one is. I'm losing my train of thought. That's a nice white one. I follow that guy on Instagram as well. He has an A86. Uh, but basically, what I'm trying to convey is, like, there's a following behind them, especially in Japan. And 
they all look real nice. Like that one. Ooh. Okay, anyways, uh, I'm going to go back to the video now. So, yeah, this is it. Um, I don't want to brag or anything, but mine is... Look, I'm going ultimate weeaboo mode here, if that'll focus, which it won't really. Mine's authentic Japanese, which doesn't mean a lot. I mean, there's a North American version of this scooter called the Honda Aero 50, and it looks pretty much the same. It just has, like, a couple different... Why won't you focus? Time to get a new phone. There we go. Uh, called the Honda Aero 50. And it has a couple different body pieces and stuff, but from what I know as of now, which I could be wrong, I don't know, but I think I have... Well, I'm the only person I know of that has this scooter in North America. And I know somebody else does have one, but I'm the only person that I know of that has this scooter in North America, from Japan. So, uh, it won't start because the battery's super dead. I brought it to Honda, and Honda killed the battery, as well as my hopes and dreams of riding this. So I gotta get a new battery for it today, which is under here, and I'm gonna try and slap the body kit on and get it running again. So yeah, this is it. It is a piece of shit, and I'm gonna try to get it running. Also, I don't know why, but Danish's bike is beside mine. He bought an actual motorcycle, still doesn't have his license. Come on, Danish, get on your game. Uh, I'm gonna grab a screwdriver. Yo, what is up, Gucci gang? Um, so, uh, I just unscrewed the battery real quick. It was like two screws. Uh, I'm gonna go to Canadian Tire now, which is kind of like, how do I explain it to American people? It's like, um, it's like a Walmart almost, but it's Canadian Tire, but there's no food. I don't know, it's kind of a waste of a store in my opinion. Uh, anyways, I gotta get a new battery, or at least have them test it, or charge it, and then, um, whatchamacallit, I'm gonna buy zip ties too, because I'm gonna try and put the body kit on, with the zip ties, because I'm not a fiberglass pro, I'm trying to think of, I don't know, we'll figure it out when I get there. Bruh, walking to Canadian Tire. Yeah, I didn't really vlog in Canadian Tire, I bought zip ties. Uh, tested the battery. Battery had a one-year warranty, so I got a free battery. Uh, hyped on that. I feel like it may be the alternator on the scooter, though, because I don't know why my battery died the last time. Didn't really make any sense. Yeah. So it comes with, like, a wing, like a spoiler. Um, that's, like, the underbelly piece. It makes it look like the scooter's a lot lower than it actually is. And then it also came with like a thing to put on the front. I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of like, it's like the front piece, but it's like a shark nose. So like, it's like scooped, scooped over. I don't know if you can see, yeah. And it makes it look super JDM and super cool. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I can put it on with zip ties once I get the rest of the body looking proper with zip ties, because I don't really care at this point. So I'm making a little hole, you can't see it. Uh, you can, yeah, right there. So I can put a zip tie through there and then string it up through here and then pull that up there like that. And then I should be able to test with the body kit and things should be okay. Yes, yeah, so I put two little holes in a, a spoiler. So it can mount right there with those screws. Just with an X-Acto knife too, I didn't. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so my boy Tom just phoned from Canadian Tire. I kinda mounted the wing, but it looks really bad, and I realized that, like, mounting it from there adds no stability whatsoever. So I'm gonna have to drill a hole or two, I believe, through, like, there and there, and do a little cross stitch with zip ties. Probably on the other side as well, too. And then I might have to drill two more holes here so I can really, like, put it in there. And then, uh, so I gotta go get Maria's drill, too. Danish's mom. But, as of right now, I'm just gonna kick, literally kick, everything to the side. Well, I'll be more careful with this, because it's the body kit. And then, uh, I'm finna head back to Canadian Tire right now. And grab the battery. 
Scooter's gonna look, like it's gonna look kind of trash when it's done because it has zip ties and it's not gonna look like professional bodywork. But you know what, it's gonna look cool and it's gonna actually drive, which is the main thing. And let's see if I actually have gas in here still. So. You gotta smell it, not to get high or anything, but just to make sure it's not gone bad. And it still smells good to me. I'm not a gas smelling expert though. So, um, but put the seat down. Let's head on out to Canadian Tire. Grab the uh, battery. Came right back. I'm in like Speedy Gonzalez meth mode right now. I already got the new battery in. Just gonna put these in so the uh, terminals connect. I'm gonna fire it up and see if it actually starts. If it actually does, I'll be really surprised and I'll be very happy. Okay, time to try and start it. Haha, <laughs> it lives! That's hype! Oh my god. <laughs> it is pluming out smoke right now, that is terrible. Take it for a test drive. Something smells like it's on fire. Hold on. Something is on fire. This is not good. There's like smoke coming out of this. What the? Okay, I've made an absolute mess. It's smoky as in here now. This is not good. And also, something was on fire in here. Yo, <laughs> I just my hat just fell off multiple times. I took it for a test run, and Vlad was outside, and he got on it too. Um, something in there. My phone's almost gonna die too, so I gotta be conservative with the battery. Uh, something in there though is like two wires are touching. I think it's like a positive and a negative, or just like touching straight on. I'm not too sure because the wire is like, something's in there is like burning and it's red hot. It smells like metal burning. And you know, my fingers smell like it. So I have 14% battery left. And um, I just showed Instagram that. I put the under cowl thing on. That's what they call it in Japan. It looks very cool. It's like a thing to make the school, the scooter look lower than it actually is. And it fits perfectly. So on that note, uh, I'm going to, wow, I just realized the garage. I don't know if you can see this, but there's still hella smoke in here from when I first started it up. Um, the reason is because the school, the school, the scooter burns oil and gas at the same time. It is a two-stroke. I don't really know what that means or how it works. Kind of do. But that's why it's so smelly. And you, know, you can get strawberry-scented oil, so it burns and it smells like strawberry. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked from what my original point was. Um, I'm leaving everything down here right now. I'm running up to my house to get my phone charger to charge my phone so I can film shit. And I'm also going to go up to Maria's house right now and steal her drill so I can put the body kit fully on and be done with this project because I bought this scooter like six months ago or more and I never finished stuff. Okay, so the next little bit of uh, scooter work is just going to consist of me drilling a bunch of holes in the fiberglass because I'm not a professional fiberglass worker and I don't plan on permanently having the body kit on here in case I need to do something in the scooter I need to be able to get it off really quick so I'm gonna go like uh, hole, hole, and then on the other side, hole, hole, so I can like zip tie stitch it. And then over here is gonna be like 
whole 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 and going through there too because why not and then on the body kit right here is gonna be like whole whole and do a little stitch right there and then whole hole right there and on the other side as well too and then as for the top piece i don't really know yet just got the ducktail on properly as you can see i did a little stitch work right there it's looking pretty decent not gonna lie i'm hyped wow i actually can't believe i got this done in one day that's pretty impressive for me at least usually i slack off and procrastinate a bunch and it may not look the prettiest as you can see but uh I did it. It's on there, the whole body kit. It's not just like sitting over there anymore. So I'm pretty proud of myself. It looks like kind of decent too. Yeah, so I'm losing light really fast. It's getting dark outside. Um, I'm going to bring the scooter up real quick. Take it for like a little drive. I'm going to see if I can film it. Hopefully it's not too dark out. I'll put it on front facing camera and it should like I'll prop it up and you guys should be able to see something. But yeah, the scooter build is done. Well, I mean, for the most part, it's done. There's still like the front top piece, but uh, you know, that's like whatever. Um, yeah, here's some clips of me riding the scooter to cringy Japanese music. That's actually really good music, but you guys can put it in your cringe compilations. Snap, this one's going in my cringe compilation. <sighs> So that was that. There was a cop outside the whole time too, which was like pretty scary. But he, the cops in Canada just don't seem to care, so it was chill. Um, right now I'm heading to Vlad's house. All the boys are chilling there. And I think that's gonna do it for today. I mean, shit, I got a lot done today. I could finish the scooter project. It's pretty good. So thanks for watching. Here's uh, 20 seconds of whatever it is, you know. Um, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Bye. As it turns out, we're going clubbing, so um, I'm just gonna vlog this too. It's gonna be bad. I never met up with Bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, this is some quality entertainment right here. Two bros pissing on each other. Zero feet apart because they're not gay. Oh, wow. Wow, all the gypsies waiting in line. Hey!